Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Many star celebrities complain on how hard it is to balance the home front and work and still have amazing results. That is why some stars sacrifice their home front for their career and vice versa. But that seems not to be the case for the power couple, the Yoruba actors Kola Jimmy and Tony Ibra. In fact, unlike a lot of men, Kola shares a strong bond with his daughter and also his son. Tony on the other hand shares a strong bond with her daughter instead and occasionally laments on how her son seems to be closer to his father. This family usually shares updates on the official social media platforms. And one of such updates was the moment Kola was bonding with their daughter and Tony also showed up their little princess. Many Nigerians noticed Kola's exceptional parental skills and his deviation from the usual African father traits where fathers are mainly only providers and usually don't have a close bond with their kids. Kola is doing things differently and many people are praising him for it. And they're saying he's the world's best dad, as his actions have earned him such title. In fact, Tony's husband sees their son as an answer to his prayers. And a time ago, he revealed that I asked God to give me a friend who will always love and care for me. He gave me a son. He rated me. Wakola is not just a good father, he's also a good husband, according to Toy. Just a while ago, Toy Abraham appreciated her husband and said, People say we should always speak up if we find ourselves in bad marriages. I believe this should be true for good marriages too. And that's why I'm saying all that I'm saying. You're a good man. Iku Aaron Ota at the social media kuniyawa. In Jesus' name, I love you so much now forever. Over time, this family has grown to become one of the most loved families we have in the entire Nigerian movie industry. If you want to know more about this family, please stay with us. So, Abraham and Kola Wolea Jamie got married in 2019 and also welcomed their son, Iwilua, in 2019. But then they also have a daughter, Kola Wolea Jamie's teenage daughter. Kola was a single father, according to some reports. Before he finally tied the knot with Tony Abraham, he has a teenage daughter, Demitokwa, who shares a close bond with Tony Abraham, as mentioned earlier. Also, this is a short but interesting biography of those two Yoruba actors, Tony Abraham and Kolaole Ajayemi. Kolaole Ajayemi is a star Nigerian actor and movie director who is popular for being the husband of Tony Abraham. His full name is Kolaole Ulua Shegun Ajayemi, is currently 42 years old, as Tony revealed this recently. He was born on January 15th. His state of origin is Oyo State and he lives in Lagos State. Kuala Oli was born and raised in the Bumosho part of Oyo State and had both his primary and secondary school education also in Oyo State. His father is a popular Yuba musician at GME. Kuala Oli at GME started acting in the 90s under the tutelage of the virtual Yuba actors Isiaka Udutola Melbo and Shego Akoni Ukumbe. Kuala Oli has since gone ahead to fully establish himself as an actor. He has featured in over 50 movies and worked as a director for many others. Some of the movies he has worked on include Bugashu to Alapata Ijoben with Sibi Giga Sunday Daguru Jokin Ju Ekon Sumi Sumi Bayo Ifeni Okola Pastor Ruku Iruku Nan Kokoro Uwanyas Otama Kon Lai Jai Iman Jialabe Ubemisi Ujuna Wale Eko Mero Uri Logo Onome Angaga and Oma Yeniwa just to mention a few of them. Also, Kola Wale over the years back the nickname of Wilu because of the record rules he plays in many movies. This actor then said he's a different person off screen and does not in any way behave like the characters he plays in movies. Also, aside from acting and directing, he's a businessman. He's the founder of a film school called Ajio Maji School of Performing Arts, located in Abrokota, Dogon State Capital. He's also the CEO of Kolaoli Clothings, a fashion company specialized in making native wears and shoes. Coincidentally, Tony Abraham also grew up in York State, but then she grew up in Ibadan. Even though she was born in Edo State, this was on September 15, 1980. And she also began her education in Edo State. She attended Oba Kenzo Nojuan Primary School in Bini. Later on, her father retired, and the entire family moved to Ibado, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibado, she started from Queen Star School, then St. High School in Ibado. Thereafter, she proceeded to Ruby Technic in Oshun State for a national diploma in business studies. She also attended Olabiso Nobajo University. I backed a degree in philosophy before returning to Europe Polytechnic for an HND market. Now he's the last of six children. She was born into a poor background where she had to work to support her family. Who is is a Nigerian film actress, filmmaker, producer, and an entrepreneur. She began her acting career later in the year 2003. So she's a younger colleague of Kola Oli. When she started in the movie Dubed Bembo, which was produced by Bukirat, this was in 2003. Since then, she has continued to feature in the best and all movies. 
and has also ventured into movie production. Generally, though is known for her comic roles and films, especially with her self-produced blockbuster movie Alakada Loaded. She's also an entrepreneur who ventured into the sales of herbal products for women with infertility issues and also selling slimming teas. She was following Nules, Ulutunya and Baku, but then she changed the name in 2016 to Doing Hebra and added her husband's last name, Ajiyemi, at the beginning of this year to her name, making her to Hebra Ajiyemi. Even though she began dancing there in 2003, she didn't take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. Motivation came from her boss, Buki Wright. He's an Asian brand Nigerian actress. Though he first featured in Bookie's movie, the member as mentioned earlier. Subsequently, she began to sign other films until she rose to start up. As they grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced, Alad Jota. And she also had plans to produce Alad Jota Reloaded. Today, though, is one of the biggest brands we have in the Nigerian movie industry. And according to her, staying in Okafu's law and working with the movie director Mono Boli was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting, she hasn't consistent to making a name for herself. And today, Twins is among the A-list actors we have. She's also a multiple award-winning actress. Some of her nominations include Best Supporting Actress for Yuba Category, Farrell in a Beaming, Best Honor Award 2013, Best Actress in a Supporting Role, Farrell in a Sui, African Movie Academy Awards, EMA 2018, and Best Actress in a Supporting Role, Farrell in Diamond in the Sky, English Category, Best Honor Award 2019, just to mention a few of them. Some of the awards in her possession include Best Actress are in Alakada, Ben TV Awards 2014, Best Indigenous Actress, Nigerian Entertainment Awards, NEA 2014, The Best Supporting Actress, Feature Film, Farrell in Hakunde, Five Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Actress in Hollywood, Mokli Oyu Towards, Maya 2017, The Best Film Act, Nigerian Entertainment Awards, NEA 2017, Best Actress in Alakada Reloaded, Exquisite Lady of the Year, Elo 2017, Best Supporting Actress are in Tattoo, Africa Magivia's Choice Awards, NVC 2018, Best Actress on Africa, Africa Magivia Stories Award, TNVC 2020, and Best Actress of the Year, just to mention a few of them. So she has been active in this movie industry since the year 2003, and some of the movies she has featured in over the years include The Therapist, The Prophetess, Fate of Alakada, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Ling Ligotians, Nimbi, The Ghost and the Tout, Seven and a Half Dates. These guys all just tap on the Lakara Loaded SO yeah, how could they mentally tap to Don't Don't Fever, Watch them Try the Revolution, Celebrity Marriage or Kafos Law. What makes you think? Loves on the hey Alan Baba Laba K B mean Alakada Shalafik by me, just to mention a few of them. I've come to the end of this episode where Nigeria switched to Hebrew's husband and declare him as the world best dad. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.